Hello guys, really hot day today. The hot season is really coming on now in Thailand. So uh, obviously that means uh, better production, the sun is higher in the sky. At the same time uh, we need more energy, so that's a good thing. Because obviously most people that have air conditioning use more air conditioning now compared to other seasons. So today we're going to talk about small systems. Small systems are a little bit um, interesting because sort of the normal economics that works from 5 kilowatt and, uh, and bigger disappears because the system price gets more expensive compared to what you get out of it. And why is that? Well, because a lot of the equipment and expenses are the same. For example, if we compare a 3 kilowatt system to a 5 kilowatt system, there's not much difference in terms of cost. It's a, yes, it's a little bit more panels. The inverter is almost the same price. Travel cost is the same. Salary cost is the same. Installation is the same. Cables is the same. You know, to install eight panels compared to 14 or 12 panels, the time difference is almost nothing. So, in almost all aspects, a 3 kilowatt system is almost the same price as a 5 kilowatt system. So that is why the economics, the return on investment gets worse and worse the smaller the system is. Okay, so that is why and that uh, we, the smaller system that we install is 5 kilowatt. Uh, many reasons for that, but the most important is the economics of it. It be creates a very bad return on investment and long payback period for the customer. Uh, so, actually in the past, this is quite interesting because when we started the company, we did install 3 kilowatt. But, like I said, the, the price difference was very small to a 5 kilowatt. And even more importantly, those customers that we installed 3 kilowatt for, they all came back later and said they wanted to expand the system. So it was not enough the, later on. And you know, and then we start to, to think how can we explain to those customers that want uh, very small systems that, yeah, that's one, one thing that you have to think about is that you likely would want to expand it later. And then the economics break down again because then if you have a 3 kilowatt system, you want to expand it to a 5 kilowatt. You have to change the inverter from 3 to 5, add panels, and that expansion is extremely costly. The problem also comes that that 3 kilowatt inverter, what are you going to do with that? Are you going to lose all that money? Are you going to try to sell it second hand? It has very little value for installers um, because most installers install 3 kilowatt very rarely because of all these things. So when we did the, those 3 kilowatt uh, installations, um, we found that it was not good for the customer, not good for us. They all wanted to expand later, which created difficult situations where we had to try to figure out a way to make it work, you know, like try to find a second and 5 kilowatt inverter to help these customers. It, it all became not good. Now, there are situations that um, the return on investment is not the most important thing about an installation. Okay, what do I mean by that? So let's say that your usage is two, three thousand watts, your bill, your electricity bill. And then you talk to me and I say that you really with such a small system, it's really difficult to make it worthwhile as an investment. But then the customer says, I don't care so much about the investment, uh, that it pays off fast and all these things. I care about green energy and I care about, I want to learn, I want to have a hobby, I'm retired, I would like a solar system and I think it's fun, it would be fun to have. And then of course, uh, as an installer, I have to accept that thinking. So the point is that we have to be aware also that for some customers, 
return on investment is not so important. There are other goals for uh, solar systems uh, that are relevant, and that's that's really important because I c should not dictate your goals. My my aim is to make it clear what goals you can achieve with certain systems. But if you have other goals and you focus on goals like green energy and you would like to have it as a hobby to understand more of it, maybe you're a retired engineer or something like that. Of course, who am I to say that that's a bad idea? I, I would actually say it's a good idea as long as you are aware of the goals that you can reach and the goals that you can't reach. I'm completely fine with it. But it's my job to clarify that the goals that you are going to achieve are these and not those. That's the, my job and that's what we do. Um, but then I would say that the, the way to go for a configuration of the system is a five kilowatt inverter with three kilowatt panels. That is the way to go because then you can easily expand later without having to change the inverter. So that's definitely the recommendation there. Um, for those that want like a two kilowatt system, like a really small system, uh, then I would say DIY is the way to go, absolutely. Because those systems are not expensive and you can easily make a frame in the garden, it's only a few panels. So I would actually do DIY uh, with that. Um, and if you don't know how to do that yourself, just learn, take time to learn about it from our videos and other videos. Search uh, DIY Solar and then you'll find out it's not difficult. Of course, you can do that together with an electrician, for example. Make sure that you do the ele ele electrical that has to be done properly. Make sure you use PA approved inverters. You find that list on the PA website. So there are some things you have to do and understand, but when you talk about small systems like two kilowatt, that's definitely the way to go. Or just get like a local shop to install because then, then you don't have to pay for the travel expenses and hotels and system price will go down. And if the system fails for whatever reason, the, the loss is not so bad and you can, let's say that the inverter breaks be, because it's not so high quality, you can still reuse the panels later on, you know. So definitely DIY really is good for small systems. Uh, and of course the opposite, when we talk about small systems having a not so good return on investment, obviously the opposite is always also true. The bigger the system, the better their return on investment. So when you go up to 10 kilowatt, 20 kilowatt, then the return on invest investment can be unbelievably good. Can be three years, depending on what you choose as an inverter and everything. But the thing to understand and remember about return on investment is that you have to have risk as part of the analysis. You can't just look at, okay, this, cheap, this system is really cheap. Therefore, it has a good payback time. But that's really the wrong thinking because then you are not including risk of failure because that's obviously higher on the cheaper systems. So you have to include that in your analysis somehow. So, okay, okay guys, that's a little bit on small systems and uh, recommendations for that. Take it easy, guys.